Black Hills TV loves to come to the small towns, and today we're in Bison, South Dakota for the first time, visiting with Tracy Collins, their activities director. And Tracy, great to be here in Bison. Yeah, it's good to have you here. A while back, finished uh, with, with football. Oh, with football, we're, we're real low on numbers, and it was a very rebuilding year. We, we had a defeated season, but we're... Uh, we're, we're building. We're gonna we're gonna get it back here in a couple of years. Of course, you got wrestling going on now, and also uh, boys and girls basketball. Yeah, wrestling. We actually co-op with Headinger, North Dakota, so um, they do all the all the coaching and travel arrangements up there. So I don't have much to do with the wrestling program. I, I believe we got four four wrestlers from Bison that go to go to Headinger um, for four four and five nights a week. Mm -hmm for practice and then they go up there to wrestle in North Dakota tournaments. What is your background? Um, I grew up in faith, only did one sport, so I wasn't very athletic, but I, I wrestled um, and it was it was all for fun because I, like I said, I wasn't very good. Wrestling was my only sport. And how is the wrestling program here? They've they've had pretty good success um, with the North Dakota team. Heading her in the past has been kind of the powerhouse in North Dakota. They actually uh, won a state title here, uh, must be two years ago. Um, so the wrestling program is, is pretty pretty competitive. I see on the edge of town you've got uh, signs about some of the school pride and some of the championships. We won our first state title in track in 2016, I believe. So that's been a pretty big source of pride um, to finally get a state championship. Uh, do you get a lot of crowds out for the basketball game? It's mostly parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles. but. But yeah, the crowds are pretty good. Usually when the teams have a little more success, we do a little better. But like this year, the girls team is having pretty good success. So for all the girls games, we have a pretty pretty good crowd base going. Okay, hey, sounds good. Well, thanks, Tracy, for uh, joining us here on Black Coast TV. Yep, thanks for coming. Alan, it's uh, great to be here in Bison. Yeah, it's awesome to have you guys here. You're the boys' high school basketball coach. Correct. And understand it's kind of a rebuilding year this year. It's a rebuilding year, yes. We uh, graduated a lot of kids last year and uh, a lot of un young kids, 7th and 8th graders. So we're a couple years from now, we'll be good. I lost uh, Jaron uh, Beckman. Uh, he was uh, my center, uh, responsible for a lot of our points. And then uh, Shane Collins was my weak side guard, and he got a lot of rebounds. And then uh, Jace Prelly was my point guard. So I lost, a, with those three seniors, lost a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. Who are your leaders this year? Uh, right now I've got Gavin Nelson and Carter Johnson are my team captains. And they returned, they were starters last year. Mm -hmm. And they came back. So they're, they're doing a, a very good job holding the team together. We're getting better. Our goal this year is to make this a building year, plant the seeds for the future. And we're getting better every game, which is all you can ask of the kids. Yeah. And what's your background? I went to uh, Dickinson State. I, I come out of uh, Dickinson, North Dakota, mm -hmm. and went to Dickinson State. And then my first teaching job was in Selby. And I taught uh, high school math and then coached basketball, football, um, and then helped with weight training. And then I went to Mulbridge, and I worked underneath Jim Schleckaway. So I helped. I was assistant uh, football, assistant basketball, and then I had golf, head golf coach. Mm -hmm. So been around a little bit, and then I took a... 17 years off when I was uh, active duty with the military. Okay. And then uh, just retired from the Army and came back to teaching. And here at Bison, you also help out with the football team. I do. I help Charlie. I uh, started off, he had a couple of kids that were injured. I went down to help uh, stretch them out so he could focus on the game. And then Charlie said, well, if you want to come help me on the sidelines, that'd be awesome. So just started joining him this year. And I think I don't think any football player ever that never gets out of your blood. Every, every fall, you, you'll feel the urge. <laughs> so, so you want the whistle, want to be on the field with the kids. Yeah, it's, you played uh, football and basketball? Yep, in, in Dickinson. Yep. And so we, we had, um, uh, my senior class was, uh, they won the state championship back in 79. So, football? Yep. So uh, my little brother is the athletic director at Dickinson Trinity. So. Uh, the sports run deep in the family. Yeah. What position you, did you play there for Dickinson High School? I was a guard, and uh, my utility and defense played uh, defensive back. Yeah. So who'd you beat to, to win the state title that year? Uh, we beat uh, Fargo South. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good deal. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you uh, taking time to join us here on Black Coast TV. It's good to be in Bison. Oh, it's awesome to have you guys here.
All right, we're here at Bison, South Dakota, with Trevor Fisher, the assistant boys basketball coach. And Trevor, hey, thanks for joining us on Black Hills TV. You're very welcome. What's your background? Uh, you look like you probably played some sports. I uh, played played a lot of sports. Played uh, football and basketball and wrestling, all the way up to uh, my eighth grade year. I switched to just wrestling and and football. So now I'm here helping with the basketball program. You played sports in faith. Yes. Yep, graduated from Faith. Okay. Played all my sports there. How did the football team do when you were playing? We had our ups and downs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like any any other small school yeah. season, you know, yeah. we had really good seasons and we had some not so good seasons. Yeah. So. What position you play? I played uh, end and defensive end. Played on both sides of the ball. And uh, here at Bison, South Dakota, I know you're the assistant boys coach, and I know it's a rebuilding year. Yes, it, we got a young team. We. Uh, Occasionally starts at one seventh grader, and we have uh, three total seventh graders on the varsity roster. So, it's a uh, we're we're a young team. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, a few years down the road, you'll probably have uh, maybe state champions. We're hoping so. Absolutely, <laughs> always looking for that, right? <laughs> yeah. What you got coming up uh, on the schedule? Uh, we got Dupree, and then we got some a junior high game with uh, Timberlake. And uh, then we got LMCs coming up and trip to Kadoka. So that'll be a little, little hard times there probably, but it'll be fun. We'll yeah. have fun. Yeah. Kadoka's always got a good team. Yeah. Kadoka's a tough team. Yeah. We just got done with Timberlake. They're a really tough team too. So yeah. <laughs> well, that's all right. Yeah. Timberlake, they got a good, a good tradition too with high school basketball. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Good, good team. Okay, well, we appreciate you uh, taking time to uh, visit with us here at Black Hills TV. Thank you.